All right, so it's finally our turn to go in. The house itself looks super cute from the outside. I haven't been inside yet, uh, just cause I've been waiting. It is on East Bayview, which is a super busy main road, um, but it's only two lanes, so that's nice. And there are sidewalks on both sides. I will say this area, this part of Norfolk can be a little hit or miss. Um, you're gonna see a lot of updated houses that are interspersed right next to houses that haven't been updated and haven't been maintained. Um, but so far, so good. And they're Michigan fans. So when you first walk in, I'm gonna shut the door behind me. Oh, it smells really nice. It smells super nice. Stairs leading up. Little mural. It's a big open space too. Like they have a larger sofa, tons of natural light, recessed lighting. I like that they have an eat-in area in the kitchen because there is no designated dining room that I see so far. Countertops are black with like glitter glass sparkles throughout. You do have a disposal. It's a lot of space. Laundry room in here. Water heater here. Oh, it is from 2004. So I do imagine just because this property um, is so popular that uh, it, we are going to have to be a little aggressive when it comes to writing an offer. Um, I do think that this is going to be a huge seller is the backyard. You don't get this kind of lot size in Norfolk usually um so this is in addition to the house being nice uh definitely one of the better selling features um i'm gonna try to get into the garage we have a little doggy door so i'm gonna see if this key works for the garage i have a security system Let's go check it out. No. All right. I just tried the code that it took to get in the house and that didn't work either. It's probably where they're keeping a lot of the stuff that's normally in the house. Um, I don't know how to lock this guy. So I'll put that right there. All right, before we go upstairs, we can wrap this storage closet right here. I didn't notice, let's see if they're using this for their pantry, yeah, okay, cool. So a utility closet right there. You have a guest bath in front of me and guest rooms on either side. The only reason I mentioned Michigan, um, at the door is because they have a ring doorbell and I wanted to, if they were listening, I know it's sneaky, but you know, in this market, we can take everything we can get. So that bathroom does have direct act or bedroom does have direct access to this bathroom. Um, Feels like uh, little wood panels that they've put on. It does feel like real wood. I will say the colors are pretty bright and vibrant. I'm 
We have a guest linen closet right here. And then another guest bedroom. This one faces the front of the house. You can hear a little bit of road noise too. Um, oops. Now this is a queen size bed, just to give you an idea of the size of the room. This one is also a queen size bed, so this room feels a little larger. All right, let's head upstairs. Now in these older homes that have these areas upstairs, they are always going to be a little bit warmer. Oh, that's not the right one. There we go. So because these rooms typically are a little warmer in these older Cape Cod homes, most of the time you will see window units. I say that's pretty common, especially in this area. We have attic access right there. We have a light. Those are going to be access to your dormer panels on the inside. This just looks like storage. I don't know why there's a vent there unless the intake used to be down there. Oh my goodness. It's a whole closet. room like the whole area is a closet directly above that is going to be attic access and then this is going to be your master i mean i guess if you want to call it that this whole upstairs is sort of like a master suite so it's interesting a lot of these older homes do have you know, nooks and crannies because they have the dormers in the property. So I've seen them where they've been poorly done. I've seen them in the middle. You know, this is definitely, in my opinion, one of the better ones that has been renovated. Um, it's always gonna be unique because of the layout just due to the age of the home. Um, but I haven't noticed any water stains. I haven't. If you are very tall, um, it's not normally super tall up here. And again, just you'll have to keep it a little cooler up here with your AC units. Other than that, you are ridiculously close to the base. You have off street parking, which is not common in Norfolk, a big like two lane paved road. It's our road uh, driveway huge backyard, huge front yard. So I think all of those can offset the fact that you are on a busy street. Um, so let me know what y'all think.